I'm going to show you how I use FreeCAD 0.19 to design this escapement. Hey guys, Jacques here. So in this video I want to show how I use FreeCAD 0.19 to design the anchor of this clock back here. This was the first try, it didn't quite work. So I did some improvement, better design, and with just three dimension, I, I can change the major dimension of the anchor, that is the angle, the width of the pallet, and how far they get into the anchor, adjusting the length here. So let's go designing. I'm going to do a new document, body, sketch, XY plane. I'm going to go change this to construction, the circle, dimension, the circle to 160 because that's going to be the size I want. I'm going to do a, a line from the center to the circle, then another line back to the X line. Make this angle 45 or 135. I'm going to do this and this. Square now I can get this dimension. I want it as a reference because it's already constrained. So this will be the center of the escape wheel, this will be the pivot point of the anchor. Next thing I need is a reference for the, those two circles here. Going to do two lines. So I want four degrees between those lines. And then I want it centered with this line. So I'm going to do a little trick, two lines, one here, one here, this square, this square, then this and this equal. Now I can use those points to do two circles from here to here, here to here. Now I can move this angle out here. If I change the angle Changes my circle, but they're still centered with this line. Next, I'm going to do this triangle, and this line is going to be giving the angle of the pallets here. This line is parallel to this, and by changing this angle. It's going to change the angle here and here at the same time. So I'm going to do one line from this middle one until it touches this circle. It's going to be vertical. 
then I'm going to do one line here and then this to this make this square then I'm going to have an angle here and put it 80 for now okay now I can switch from construction to finish lines do a line and it's going to be between this circle this circle and this is going to be parallel with this now I'm going to do a second one here and this parallel to back to construction do one line from here to here going to center this and then this line is going to be solidly vertical Looks good it's going to be one more dimension it's going to be here to here okay For now, I have point seven. This dimension is going to be here as well, but because this vertical line moves those two lines at the same time. So now I have a fully customizable anchor by changing this angle, this angle, this dimension. So now I can just finish the sketch for the anchor. I'm going to go quick. The last thing I want to show, once I have those lines, I'm just going to do arc, arcs here. Center from this. I'm going to pick this point. Until it connects with this line. Center 
this point to this line. Center again. This point to this line. And one more here. And then trim this, this. The degrees of freedom are going down, so trim this and this, and it's fully constrained. If I close task pad five. And add a few little things. Here's my cup. I can go back to the sketch. Let's say I want to change this angle. Close uh, the both angles of change here and here. Go back. Now I have wider palettes, but it's not going to work. have the engagement here. Let's put three just to see. And then are longer. I want to show one more thing is how to add these here. Select the body, I'm going to do a new sketch. XY plane. It's going to be on the back here. Then I'm going to use this tool to get the location of this hole, this hole. Now I can hide the pad, do some circles here. Put some dimension. Now I can show the pad. Close task pad. I want it to be twelve. Okay. Now I have these two pieces. I hope you like this video and you learn a few things. If if even if I had to go really fast, so it doesn't get too long. Next video I'll do the escape wheel. So please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.